Welcome back. Today we're talking about Hubson. Hubson Zeno, Hubson Zeno Mini, Hubson Zeno Pro, going way back to these controllers. Basically these with or without the display. Okay? You pull them out, you put your phone in. However, I have a Galaxy Samsung 9 Plus with an Otter case. Beautiful case, very durable, but it won't fit. No matter what I do, it will not stretch. It's just a centimeter too short. It just will not stretch. It will not fit in. So my solution to date has been to use one of these. And this is a Skyread, but there's all kinds of them around. And it elevates it, but you do need a custom cable to stretch to plug in your phone. So that's that. And that has worked very well for me in the past. But I still have to use the extended cable and sometimes it does come out. So you have to be careful. So, what did I do? Well, if you go online, you can find these. And this is for the Xeno or the Xeno 2 or whatever. And they're extenders that you put in here. And if you're using a tablet, 7 inch tablet, not a 10, it'll stretch big enough to put your tablet in. But if I try and do that with my phone, let's try this here, it, it doesn't collapse. It's too big. And to be honest, sorry, it's two centimeters too tall. Okay? So when I put it in, okay, like that, it's two centimeters too long. So what did I do? I do use deodorant now and again. So what I did was I cut out a deodorant package. It's plastic, it's got the curves on each end. I did a little, ooh, sorry. I did a little bit of modification on the sides here, put a couple of layers in just to make the right distance. However, I'll show you the dimensions of what it is up here, pictured somewhere, of the exact dimensions that will fit really. And actually it's Wow, mosquitoes. Actually, it's six and a half centimeters wide. Okay, this way. And it's six centimeters long. Okay, this is a little shorter than this side, but I'll show you how it works. And I had to cut out a little hole here because on a Samsung Galaxy S9, it has a button right here that this fits over. And the button is for Bixby. So I cut a hole there to prevent mosquitoes are really bad here. But anyway, so this is how it works. I put this in here. I put this over my Bixby hole like that. Okay. Clip it in there. Put it down like that. Bixby hole is there. Perfect. It's not interfering. This is the standard cable that comes with it. And I plug it in. Okay. And there we go. And I can use it. It's not going to fall out. It's great. And I can be nice and comfortable and do whatever I want. So now we've got the Hubson Zeno Mini SE on the pad. And it's just had the new updates. Now it's up to date with all the other mini Xeno, mini Upson, whatever they are. There's like eight different versions of this mini, okay? And they've all had updates, so this was the last one. I think it got it to 1.2.0 or something. But I did all those updates, and I'm hoping it's just going to be, you know, a nice experience. But now I've got this, it's going to be great. And again, I'll put all the diagrams up here about it. And if anybody's into CAD and they want to make one, the one, let me get it, the one I got for the Xeno 2 would be perfect, except for it's too long. Okay? Mosquitoes again, they're really bad. So, let's go for a little flight, and we'll test out how this handles and how I can see things. Okay? Let's go. So now we have the Hubson Xeno Mini SE, and we have the new controller holder made out of a 
deodorant package, whatever. Holds it very well, it's not going anywhere. Everything's fine. So let's start this screen recorder here. Three, two, one, and we're going. Okay, we've got the Hudson Zeno Mini SE, new controller. Is it going good? We've got 10 satellites or 12 satellites. Let's put it up. Let's just switch over here to the video. And we're going to put it in 2.7K at 30. Okay, just for kicks and giggles. And here we can see that we have the latest firmworks, 1.2.0 and 1.1.0. They just came out last couple of days. They've now caught up with everybody else. Okay, all the other Xenos had updates and now this one's got one. It's the same thing, optimized performance. And you never really know what they did, but we'll see what happens. Okay, let's get this up in the air and see what happens here. Here we go. Here it goes. Okay, it's hovering very well. As you can tell, it's very easy to maneuver with the sticks. Here we go. Okay. Turn it around a little bit. There we go. Yes, I know it's probably 251 grams or 252 grams, but we're not going to go too far. Okay. Let's go forward a bit and back and sideways. There we go. Get back in the picture here. Okay, here we go. Uh, I've got to stop saying that word. Anyway. Here it goes. Let's get it up and just take some 2.7K video. Start that video pretty soon. So you see it's pretty level. The horizon's pretty good. Okay. Uh, we've got control. It's one hand. I don't have to worry about it flipping out. And it's very easy to handle. Let's start that video. Started the video. The screen's not as bright as I would like it. It's mm, not overcast, but it's sparsely cloudy. So as you can see. And if I move it up a little bit. You can see all the clouds are better there. If you do the exact thirds, what's that about, right about there? We lose some of the blueness. Okay, it's all fully automatic. Yes, if you do manual white balance, it's a little bit better, and you play with the ISOs and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure that ND filters would help a lot, but I'm not into all that kind of stuff. I just want to plug it in, fire it up, go out and explore, have a look what's around, and if it's interesting, I'll go and have a look. So, let's go and have a little search here. We're going to go to our favorite little lake over here. I think I've got to come down a little bit because, there we go. I can't really see too much. There we go. Okay, so let's get out there. And we're going to go up to about 70 meters. <clears throat> Full stick forward. We're going pretty good. We're going pretty good. Got to be careful of where I'm pointing it, but uh, we're at about 300, uh, 250 meters. Let's see what happens when we get into the sunlight there over this lake. <clears throat> that frog in my throat. Don't know why, but anyway. Because I haven't had lunch or something. Maybe. Maybe that's it. So it's out there, 2.7K video, and uh, it, it is nice to be able to do this instead of holding on to the whole thing and having it flop and flip. And I'm using the stock cables, so there you go. Um, you know, we're out about 500 meters, that's far enough. I'm going around the lake here, just a little bit left. Okay, that's far enough. Uh, let's come home. And we'll uh, wrap this thing up.
once we had landed. There we go. Pretty good little device. Um, it could be a little bit better, but uh, it does a great job. See you in the next one.